ski accidents. Can you sue the homeowner? Can you sue the skier, the snowboarder that ran into you? The answer is yes. And I'm here to talk a little bit about that today. Good morning, my name is Neil Burns. I'm an attorney and along with my partner, Rashawn Jan, we represent victims of ski accidents, other personal injuries, and legal malpractice here in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm talking today from Six Beacon Street where I've been practicing law since 1987. And I've had a number of ski accident cases, not as many as um, you would think, because they're very difficult to go after the ski area, the ski operator. The laws are written in such a way that protects them, and that's good because liability insurance is expensive, ski accidents are traumatic, and they wouldn't be able to be in business if they had to cover every accident, every injury that happened on a, on a ski slope. I've been skiing for approximately 60 years. I've skied in Europe, I've skied in the West, and I've skied in most areas uh, in the East. And a lot of accidents that I've seen are as a result of skier negligence, not the negligence of a ski area. So I'm gonna talk about that today. So a skier hits you, a skier runs into you and causes an injury. I've seen this, I've represented victims of this. Um, it happens a lot, unfortunately. Skiers um, are going too fast when they approach a lift line and they hit someone. Skiers are going too fast when they're coming down the mountain and they don't see someone, they hit someone. Um, skiers are focused on, they're distracted, um, perhaps not on a cell phone, but talking to their family members, trying to uh, aim for something in the distance when there's skiers in the, in the, in the uh, intermediate field. They happen a lot. People get serious injuries, um, mostly leg associated injuries, but we've also had punctured lungs, head injuries, things of that nature. And of course, death cases are associated with ski accidents and many famous ones as that. So what do we do? Um, in Massachusetts, we can go after the homeowner. If the homeowner was uh, skiing in some other state that, that may not matter. Um, and if he or she was negligent, we need to prove it. We need to do the same things we do with any other case. Was there a duty? Yeah, of course there was a duty to be safe, to ski safely, to ride safely. Did the skier or rider breach that duty? Yeah, in this instance, um, if someone was injured, they likely breached their duty by skiing into someone, by smashing into someone, by causing them to fall, causing them to hit someone else. And was there an injury? Well, that's uh, gonna be obvious if we have a, have a call from someone with a potential uh, case. They've had, a, they've had a serious injury, uh, you know, someone that, uh, is sore for a day or two is not going to call a lawyer. But someone that's had, had surgery, someone that's been in a hospital, these are folks that need a lawyer. If you've been injured in a ski case, call someone with years of experience. Call someone who's skied for his whole life. Call an, an attorney that cares. Burns and Jen, we're tenacious, we're effective, we're aggressive, we will get you results. Call Burns and Jen, 617-227-7423. Thank you.